Hi, I'm Craig Young, a security researcher with Tripwire Vert, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you some security concerns that I have with the Chrome web browser. To begin with, I've signed into this Chrome browser with a Google account. This is the feature that you would use when you want to synchronize bookmarks, history, and other settings across multiple devices or browsers. We can now flip over to Firefox, which for the purposes of this demonstration should be thought of as a separate computer. It is an isolated environment and to begin with we're going to confirm that we are not signed into any Google account at this time. So to do that we go to google.com and you can see in the top right there is the sign in button indicating that we are not currently signed in. Now running the malware payload on this system which has had the Chrome browser signed in it will extract some data from the Chrome preferences and upload them to a server that I control for processing. We can now refresh the attack portal and you can see that it has in fact captured cookies for a Google account or rather actually generated cookies. These cookies are good for a decent amount of time. We also have a link here which will automatically set these cookies in the browser and redirect us to a Google site. Now as you see we're at youtube.com and we are logged in with the Google account that had been synchronized with the Chrome browser. We can go to accounts.google.com and see some more settings about the account. And we can also go and view other data, such as here the calendar for the compromised account. In essence, we have access to most of the things that a user would have access to if they logged in with a password. It's another example. Here's the history, the web browsing history. So in light of these findings, the fact that this data is being stored without proper protections I'm actually recommending that people do not at this time use the Chrome sign-in feature. 